Hello, my beautiful souls, my beautiful mystic tribe. <clears throat> Welcome to your daily reading for July 16th, 2021. As always, timestamps will be in the description box below. The card that I, the message I pulled for the collective for today is I witness the darkness and call on the light. With my prayer, thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. This is from the universe got your back oracle deck. Beautiful message. The universe has your back. The universe has you protected and is sending its guiding light as you go through situations that you may fear and may feel like you can't deal with. You got the universal love with you. Now let's go ahead and dig into the readings. The Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, messages, guidance from the pure, of the pure white light for my collective, <clears throat> for each individual sign as I go through each sign. Guide me in these readings, please. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. Get the energies and messages for the day. <clears throat> what are the messages, please, for Aries? <clears throat> we have the Ace of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. And we have the chariot. So Aries, these two ending, beginning card, ending card are screaming success to me. Success in whatever you put your mind to. And the ace of swords represents mental clarity. Mental clarity working hard, getting the job done. You're sitting in a pretty good place on the 16th. This is you being very secure. Some of you are very independent and abundant. And moving forward with success. You might be traveling. Some of you may even be traveling for work today, maybe a new job. Aces often represent new beginnings. You know, something intellectual, intellectual conversations. The hermit. Yes. So this could be you giving wise advice or receiving. So you might be in a place where you're seeing, someone helps you see some clarity on your situation helps you move forward world card successful completion so it seems like that you are definitely completing some kind of cycle getting things done page of cups new path or messages messages of the heart or you know something you know this could also be self-reflection so the 16th to me is talking about a sense of independence a sense of completion, being able to stand on top, on your own, being on top of the world. Some of you may be traveling long distance, in fact. You may be receiving some messages from somebody from afar that you might be traveling to, but I feel that there you've drawn upon some of your inner wisdom 
you're kind you're figuring shit out basically and you're seeing things with clarity you're very very focused on this day and you're standing in your own power but there definitely seems to be some kind of completion of a project a job this could even be relationships or just a cycle within a relationship it doesn't mean a relationship's ending it just might be the end of a cycle end of a period maybe you were going through rough times and that is coming to an end um let's see we have as far as star signs what stands out we have cancer we have virgo and we have capricorn doesn't have to be the signs as sun signs it could be rising signs it could be moon signs um but take this as it resonates but you seem to be in a very good place on the 16th I'm going to leave your reading there. I love you all. Blessed be. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. What is the guidance for Taurus? Or what's going on with Taurus on the 16th? Okay. We do have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands represents stability Usually a committed relationship can be a marriage or just living together. But this, I'm feeling this is definitely a situation that is a higher level of commitment. Maybe even one that had been leveled up a bit. Then we have the five of pentacles. <clears throat> the five of pentacles could be, is definitely a lack. It could be a lack of money and finances. There could be financial issues surrounding your home this day. If it's not that, then this somebody gave in the cold shoulder. This could be being left out in the cold, feeling alone. So it could be um, frigid cold around your home on the 16th. Sorry to say that. Ten of Wands. Carrying the burden. For some of you... This is dealing with another person who's being very cold. Or you might be cold towards somebody. <clears throat> Take it as it resonates. But you're, you're burdened down. You have a lot of responsibility. And then somebody treats you like shit or treats or very cold towards you in your home. For others of you, you have a significant financial burden that is occurring with it around your foundations. If this is not your home, this could be work. You know, it could be a lack of work is burdening you, burdening you down. Take it as it resonates. Everybody's story will be different. And we will do some, we will clarify. Mice. This is like a commitment that is being eaten away at. Okay. There's a lack of commitment or a lack of stability here. It's like the stability in this foundation is being, um, is deteriorating. Conditions are con deteriorating. Clouds. That's the storm. That's confusion. Okay. You know, something is not very clear, which is causing somebody to be cold within this household. This could, this could literally be a storm that is brewing around the home. So just kind of be a little bit warm, Taurus. I wish every reading could be roses, but you know, this is this is life. This is what day day to day life is. Bouquet. This is beauty. The finer things in life. Gifts. Receiving gifts. Giving gifts. You know. What I'm feeling here is that you, Taurus, are giving, giving, giving. You're trying to provide a great life for, for your family. For your significant other. But you might be. But they may be treating you poorly. They may be like very cold towards you. And you don't get it. Because you're doing everything you can. Meanwhile the situation is deteriorating. Okay. It's like you see. You you might be starting to see. The forest. Before the trees. But I'm going to leave your reading here. I wish it was a little bit higher note but this is a daily reading this is the energies of the day 
Um, this is more like, okay, this is what's going on. How am I going to handle it? Maybe it gives you a better way of handling it. Maybe the bouquet is saying, soften them up with a gift. Okay, but that's what I have for you. Blessed be. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Moon, and Venus. See what your energies are for the day. Two of Wands. You're sitting in contemplation this day. Maybe you're at a crossroads, trying to make a decision between two. Two options, two roads. The lover's card, another decision. And a choice between two lovers, potentially, Gemini. A choice in love. If it's not between two lovers or two suitors, this could be a choice of do I commit to somebody or do I stay single? That type of energy. And if it's, this could also be related to work. Do I take that job offer? Or which job do I want? Who do I want to partner up with? That's the bottom line. Then we have the King of Cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we also have your card here, Gemini, is the lover's card. Okay. But we have someone here who's very much in control and in touch with their emotions. This is somebody who's very gentle, very wise. And their form of leadership is with gentleness and kindness. So I feel like what I feel like this is somebody who may be coming towards you, but you have to make a choice and decision if you want to involve yourself or if you want to go out with this person. It's like he's offering a cup. But with a lover's card, it feels like a deeper connection, more than just friendship. If I, I would expect to see the Knight of Cups here or the Page of Cups or maybe even Three of Cups. Um... Possibly two of cups. Those cups, those cards I would I would see here if I thought that this was a date. Just a friendship that was somebody wanting maybe to go further. Or this might have been one of the other twos. But <clears throat> I feel more like that this is somebody that you may have already been involved with. And they want to take it to the next level. So let's see. Let's clarify these here. We have the dog. This is having trust and this is faithfulness. Okay, so now I'm getting a card that might indicate that this could be a friend. A loyal friend that has a potential to go to a whole new level. And you're trying to decide if you want to take that chance. The lady. So there's a woman involved here. The woman's looking at this friend, okay? So take this as this resonates. If you are the male, then you may be the one that wants to level things up. And you have a female here that's looking at the friend and trying to decide if she wants to take things to the next level. I definitely feel it's the feminine that wants to take things to the next level. Or feminine... That is trying to decide if she wants to take it to the next level. And we have the clock tower. So this makes total sense here. We have somebody who has been... Um, this, When it comes to the Lenormand, the clock tower could be a, a corporation, job corporation, institution. It could be somebody who is alone, lonely, Herman energy, singlehood. Okay? Now, so this could go in a couple ways here. You know, you may be looking at wondering if you could trust this job opportunity with this corporation. And this almost feels like a medical corporation, hospital, doctor's office, um, home health care, whatever. But in love and relationships, this is somebody 
that she has been single. The woman has been single, I feel. And now there's a friendship that's taken place. There's a friendship here that has a chance to level up. And she's trying to make her decision if she wants to stay single or take a relationship to the next level. But I am going to leave your reading here, Taurus. But it's kind of energies that you have for the 16th. So, blessed be. This reading is for Cancer, <clears throat> Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. Go get your energies for the day. I think because I clicked on a pop-up. There we go. Sorry about that. Get your messages and guidance for the 16th. You have the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with somebody in a place of authority today. This could be a boss. This could be a judge. This could be attorney. This could be police even. Um, but I feel as though that or you are taking on this energy. This is somebody who's very decisive, who is planning, who is using their intelligence to strategize. You might be planning something. We'll go see where this is going. What are you planning? Oh, Queen of Swords. We have a true pair on the board here. Okay. This is definitely a soul connection. But the type of connection seems to be very cold between the two of you. It's like what keeps it going is the intellect. Wow, two people. Another sword? Really? Ace of Swords. You know, I feel this. I'm hearing a battle of wits, Cancer. Battle of wits between you and a significant other. Or some kind of soulmate type connection. This could be, you guys typically get along, but I feel that there is a debate going on. That's what I'm picking up on. A debate. Um, maybe some truths coming out. I'm hearing that somebody's finally getting honest. Okay, take that as it resonates. Ooh, okay, we've got the heart or the locket. So, you know, this is definitely a love interest, a love connection. The tree. Okay. The tree could sometimes refer to health. This could be heart health. This could be Mm, okay, I'm not a physician, and I don't want to scare you. This could be a discussion about health, somebody's circulation, blood flow, maybe even heart condition. Um, just So now I see what this is. I feel like somebody may have some medical issues that they do not want to deal with, but the significant other saying, the hell you aren't going to deal with it. We're getting you to a doctor. That's, I know that's very specific, but I feel that the garden, you know, public place, public event. This could be as simple as, you know, going to someplace public that is intellectual, a little intellectual debate, maybe even a seminar. Take this as a resonance. I, I know this is getting too very, very specific, but there's somebody dealing with health here. Other people, this is about the health of a the relationship that is at stake. That somebody may have been wandering in the public eye, maybe on dating sites or something like that. And the truth is coming out. So there's two different scenarios there. Take whichever one it is. I was just trying to throw out what Spirit was showing me. There's a couple different groups of you cancers that needed to hear this. But that's what I have. So that, and I, there's no ending or no outcome of the day per se, with the exception of a truth coming out. I think the, 
the days ahead will decide on what goes on. If you would like a private reading to dig into this further, feel free to reach out to me. Okay? But I'm going to leave it here. And I and blessed be. This reading is for Leo. Sun, rising, moon, and Venus. Let's dig in. I'm using two decks. I'm using Tarot and I'm using a Lenormand deck. Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles. This is like a contract or an offer or some kind of written communication. Uh, and it, usually when I see the Page of Pentacles, it's an offer of some sort or communication. This could also be... Um, Sometimes the Page of Pentacles could be learning a new skill. Five of Wands. So there, is, there are some arguments that are going to be taking place on the 16th. So expect a communication that may be a little bit argumentative. It might create arguments here. Knight of Swords. So this is kind of like a warning here. Somebody is rushing in to communicate with you, but they're being very argumentative. Somebody wants a fight. That's plain and simple. Somebody wants a fight. Let's clarify this. Okay, clarify the um, Princess of Pentacles, please. Lilies. This could be somebody that's older than you, or somebody that's wise, or somebody, or somebody who thinks they're smarter than you, okay? Or this could be somebody that you have known for a very long time, or, or, or a situation or communication that's been going on for quite a while. Seems intellectual. 30 is a 3, which, and I feel is, it's talking about expansion and growth. Um... For some, this could be communication about third party. Just saying. Because sometimes lilies could be about sex as well. The stars. Um, the stars is usually guidance. Or it can be hopes, wishes, and dreams. Networking as well. So there could be an argument that occurs dealing with something on social media that somebody's panties are in a bunch, okay? Maybe something they saw on social media that they're pissed off about and they're communicating. Lady. Okay, so you decide who you are, but there is a woman who is, oh, she's ready to do battle over a communication that has been, is being received and an argument about something on social media. I know this is very specific, but that's what happens with the Lenormand. The Lenormand ruling narrows it the fuck down, okay? So somebody, you have somebody pissed off about a social media issue, a post you know, there's a message and uh, with these three cards, this is talking about a social media post, an argument occurring over this post with somebody who thinks that they are smart and thinking, what the, what the hell did you do? And then we have a woman here and she's ready to do battle or a feminine. Or if you are the woman, you are ready to do battle with this person over a social media post. Now, the role can be vice versa. There could be a male that is rushing in to battle and fight with a female over a social media post. It could go many ways. Everybody's story might be a little bit different. Take it as it resonates. But that's what you're dealing with on the 16th. And I'm going to leave your reading at that. And blessed be. Now we are moving on to Virgo, Sun, Rising Men, and Venus. And we're going to dig in. And we have one card that flips over already, which is the Ace of Swords. This is an intellectual conversation. 
This could be a new beginning. Um, it could be a double-edged sword. We will see where that's going. It could be the sword that cuts somebody out. It could be the sword of victory. And it is always the sword of truth and clarity. So we are going to see where the rest of the messages are. Four of Wands. There could be some clarity that is coming to you concerning a situation around your home or place of work or business. This is a, something that is stable, something that is solid and secure. Um, this is building a foundation. So there might be truth about a foundation that you're trying to build. The devil card, Capricorn energy. So you could be facing some harsh truths about, a t about something around your home or somebody that you're dealing with that may have been lying to you. So Virgo, you might be dealing with, with a liar, a deceiver, somebody who's very toxic, a control freak, a narcissist. Take it as it resonates. But with the, with the sword of truth, with the ace of swords, with that double card, this is somebody very close to you that you're in some kind of commitment with or contract, personal or general life. But there is a truth coming out. I think you're going to find something out about this person that, some, that they have been deceiving and lying to you. Okay, we are going to get clarity. And I was going to look at the Ace of Swords. Okay, the Ace of Swords, we have the Clover, which is luck. Good luck. Twos are also about choices and decisions. So, I think by... And this is the chance. Just by chance, you, do, you uncover some kind of truth. Lilies. The lilies is representing to me as something long term, long standing. Okay. That is going to require some wisdom on how you handle and deal with this. Okay. The ship. The ship is sailing. This is long journey, long trip. Moving on. So, depending on where you're at in this mentally, it does feel as though that somebody, that you are in a place that you are about ready to move on. It's like you've had enough, you've, you've experienced enough toxic energy in this connection that you might be, you know, after learning what you learn, you might decide, okay, enough is enough. I'm moving on beyond this. Okay, but this is the energies for the day, and I'm going to leave your reading at that, and blessed be. Now we are moving on to Libra, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. See what your energies are for Libra. Hey, Libra, you have the seven of wands. You are standing your ground. I don't know how many times this card has to come up today. You know, I've noticed in daily readings there are certain cards that are popular for that day. So this is about a personal relationship or this could be about work. This is standing your ground concerning some kind of foundations it could be relationships, could be work related, personal related. Then we have the nine of swords. I feel as though that there is a situation that you have been worried about that you that you've been really caught up in your head, Libra. <clears throat> and whatever this is, I think you're finally speaking your mind and you are standing your ground. Because this is about your security, your stability, stability of a connection, of a relationship, of your job, whatever the situation is, scenario is. Everybody's scenario is different. But this is standing your ground. 
we have the letter. This is a communication. A message. A message that you are you are communicating. This is what I'm saying talking about. You're speaking your mind, you're communicating your thoughts because there's some sense of confusion. <clears throat> and you're questioning your own the stability of a of a relationship. There may have been a confusing communication. I'm hearing this could be a miscommunication. Some kind of misunderstanding over something that was written that you might be a little bit defensive over. Roles can be vice versa. It'd be something that you had said. <clears throat> the tree. Okay. Um, this you, you could be worried about your health or the health of somebody else. There could be a health report that is misunderstood. That you have to maybe stand your ground to get clarity on. For others of you, if this is a relationship, this is a long-term relationship, something deeply rooted, deeply planted, that you may be caught in your head over, because there's a lot of mixed, there's definitely mixed communications here. So I think that day's going to be constant. Your day is going to be about this communication, whether it's a health report or if it is a communication between you and a significant other or between you and a boss, that is kind of misleading. Or could be simply somebody did not word themselves properly and it caused confusion. You're gonna, it would just cause a little bit of defensiveness. And you are definitely, you might be speaking up and speaking your, speaking your mind here. But it's definitely something that's been long term, deeply rooted. If this is a personal relationship, everybody, like I said, everybody's scenario is different. Take this as it resonates. Okay? I'm going to leave the reading here. And blessed be. Okay, it's time for Scorpio. So, let's dig in. Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. July 16th, 2021. You have the Two of Swords. This is a stalemate, my friends. This is walking the tightrope. <clears throat> I get the sense that you're hoping that you don't fall off. There, Somebody might be walking a very thin line right now. They may be on thin, walking a thin line with you, or you might be on thin line with them I'm hearing towing the line and you are kind of blindfolded there kind of blocked it's like you're on this tightrope but you don't realize it or you you don't want to realize it you don't want to see it ten of pentacles because of financial obligations financial responsibilities this is the ten of Pentacles is about family. And you might be needing to tow this line because of financial um, stability. It's like, I feel like you're in a situation where somebody's offering you a really good life financially. You know, it's, it's like a win-win situation financially. But you're not seeing the undercurrents underneath. Four of Pentacles. And you're trying to hold on to this to, for dear life. So. About the day. I feel. I feel this very. I feel this nervousness. Okay. Nervousness. Because you're trying to hold on to this stability. This is financial stability. You know. Whether you could, this could be in your love life, personal life, or general life. General life covers everything pretty much, even work, career, business, finances, whatever. But you're trying to hold on to your money. You're trying to hold on to the stability. But at the same time, numerology wise, 
Tens are endings. Fours are stability and stagnation. <clears throat> you might feel like you are stuck between a rock and a hard place because of money and finances. So you're like, you're staying kind of like on the fence. You're not making any choices or decisions. You kind of know that you want something more. You want love. You want, um, you want something more than just going through the day-to-day -day financial things, cleaning the house, cooking the dinner, taking care of the kids. But you want something more. And I feel that there is a lack there. And you want some change, but you're in a place where you feel like you can't get change. <clears throat> Let's get some, we're going to clarify this. Okay, let's clarify the Two of Swords, please. Two of Swords. We have the Stars card. So you are dreaming about something bigger, something vast, something universal. This could also be the universe trying to guide you, but maybe you're blocking that guidance from the universe. Part of you wants to socialize. Part of you wants to reach out. Okay. But you kind of feel stuck. I'm, I'm seeing a box. I'm seeing stuck in the home. Restrictions being put on you. But that's what you're sacrificing for this financial stability. And with an uh, anchor, there it is. There's the security. Financial security is the name of the game here. So you're sacrificing your social life, you're sac sacrificing your freedom and sense of independence for the sake of financial security in a connection. And that's what I feel is going to be on, this is what's going to be on your mind, I feel. Bear. Bear is something big. It is um, the protector. This is Mama Bear. This is also resources are be, are dealing with somebody in authority. So, <clears throat> you're going to have a situation on the 16th dealing with somebody in a place of authority who is throwing their weight around and you're kind of, you're going to feel kind of stuck there because that's what you know is your security. It's all about the money, I feel. So, Keep this in mind, Scorpio. You have a choice and decision you can make, but you're choosing not to make it. Expanding your horizons. But because they hold control of the money, they, they are in charge of your, your financial security. They are the boss, whether literally or somebody who is head of the household. Okay. They're kind of leaving you stuck. And Scorpio, what I want to say is you don't have to be stuck. You can make that choice, take that chance. Because the universe has your back. I'm being called to this card over here because there is this fear of walking away from this because of the finances. But the universe has your back. You walk away for the sake of finding true love. Love for self especially. The universe is going to have your back. Anyhow... I'm going to leave the reading there, and blessed be. <clears throat> okay, now we are going to move on to Sagittarius. Sun, rising, moon, and Venus. Messages and guidance, please, for Sagittarius. For July 6th, 16th. I just said 6th. So Sagittarius, whatever reading comes out here, may have, Spirit is saying may have started either on or around July 6th. So do keep that in mind. I'm hearing that there might be a conclusion to something. Well, let's see what comes up. We have the Two of Pentacles. This is trying to make a choice or a decision. Juggling. I get to see saw effect when I see this card. You're looking at each option that you have. 
Do I go this way or do I go that way? Do I do this or do I do that? Do I want this or don't I want this? Take it as it resonates, okay? But you're, this is a juggling act. This is trying to juggle choice or a decision here. The Emperor. Aries energy. So you're trying to, I feel this is a day about laying some boundaries being very structured, being very organized, being demanding. This is being in control, Sagittarius. This is you taking control. You might have been jug juggling or you might have been the one being juggled. And you are taking control now. You are being an authoritative figure. Um, Virgo energy, Virgo Gemini energy here with a magician. That you've mastered something, you've learned something, you've taken, you're taking action on what you've learned, all your resources that you have, you're taking some sort of control over a situation, and you might, I think you, you've manifested something in, that you have wanted. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who is manipulative. Okay, take this as it resonates. You might be dealing with a manipulative person with these two combined that you have to make a choice and a decision. Or this manipulative person might have been juggling you with something else or another choice. Now, this is somebody in a place of authority. You know, you, this could even be in, doesn't have to be love life. This could be general life, okay? General life is everything but love or well love can be included in that too but this could be a love life general life you know general life could be work friendships family members career whatever but we are going to clarify here okay just very clarify tell me about this two of pentacles tell me about the two of pentacles please this could be juggling the finances around home. This is family. This is your inner circle within your home. So you're juggling a decision or decisions being made. Can't make up your mind trying to examine all your possibilities regarding home and family. So this is definitely family. The emperor is the sickle. This is a sudden ending. You know, when I said something closing, something ending, you know, a conclusion. Cutting off somebody that was an authority figure or authority figure cutting something out. That you might be taking charge and cutting out something dealing with the home. And then we have the whip with the Magician. The whip, you look at that, very risque. The whip can be, is usually a repetitive action, something that's done over and over again. The whip can be also arguments, or it could be sexuality. So, what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, is that you are dealing with a manipulator who was juggling you with somebody else, Cons a lot of sexual activity there. And I think for the security of yourself, for your home, you are cutting this person out. You're cutting off the sex. You're cutting, you know, you're ending it. You're laying some boundaries. And you may be given ultimatums to somebody on this day. It's me or them. You choose. But... Sag, you have to really realize your own value and your worth. Repetitive patterns. They did it before. They may do it again. So always keep that in mind. You need to evaluate. Do you really want to save this? And I feel like your last hurrah is going to be giving them an ultimatum. But you have to decide, do you really want to save this? Because can you trust them? If they did this before... Likelihood they could do it again. But I'm going to leave the reading at that. So that's it and blessed be.
Okay, now we have Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. Okay, Cappies, you had a card fall out of the deck already, which is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is some kind of fast-moving, fast-action type of energy. This is moving forward. This is a change. Sometimes this is change of resonance, but that's not for everybody. But there is change on the horizon. You're taking action about something. You're making a change. Uh, <clears throat> that could also be dealing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. That could be travel. You might be going someplace. someplace. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This could be work-related. You're putting the work in. You may be making a change on what you're putting your energies and your work into. General life, love life. Okay? Uh, paying attention to the details. There might be somebody rushing in associated with work. Ten of Wands. Okay. So, what I feel is that you might have been burdened down. Drugged down. Carrying this heavy weight. Carrying the res all the responsibility. And you've been working really hard and you're tired. You're worn out. And on the 16th, I think that you are looking to make some sort of change in your circumstances. Let's see. Let's get some clarity on this. And it's all about the details. I keep hearing that. It's all about the details. Like, are you ready to drop the ball, Capricorn? Let's see where this is going. Okay, Knight of Wands with the Child. Okay, I, there might be a very immature energy that you're dealing with, but the Child card I'm feeling is something new. You are ready for a change, maybe to start something brand new. New project, new relationship, New job, whatever your scenario is. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. The clouds. This has been a popular card throughout the readings today. You know, I feel like that it's about paying attention. I keep hearing the paying attention to the details, but there's something that you might have been missing. There's a little bit of confusion about something, a situation, a relationship that you have been putting all your time and energy into. But there might even be dark clouds, confusion, or uncertainty of a new, new project, a new road that you want to go down. But things are going to clear up because the light is going that way. Okay? Up the, oh, it's point, the light is pointing towards the Ten of Wands. So that is telling me, you know, there is lightening up your load. Okay. You may have been struggling, but your load is going to lighten up. Clover, stroke of luck, a change for the better. And this is, this is short-term luck. So this is one of them cases where... You have to strike while the iron is hot type. It's like a limited opportunity. It's like the door's only going to be open for so long and then it's going to close. So I feel like even if you're not totally sure about this, even if you're uncertain, because Capricorns, you want to know every little detail. That's where the details are. Paying attention to the details. You want to know every little detail but there's some things that you're really unsure about and a little bit confused about. This is a new opportunity, a welcomed change, actually. But, and it's going to allow you to lighten up your load. And this is a stroke of luck, okay? So, luck is coming your way. Don't hesitate. Don't be the typical Capricorn and says, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Let me think about this. Let me analyze this. Go with your gut. Trust your instinct. And I'm going to leave your reading at that. Love you. Blessed be. Okay, Aquarius, it's your turn. Get the daily message and guidance for you.
Okay, Aquarius, you have the death card, Scorpio energy. This is an ending or a transformation. And being that this is major arcana, this is a major transformation, a major change that is happening. Something is ending, but there's always a new beginning. Somebody may be starting over, ending a situation to start something new. Three of swords. Okay. So this is an ending that may not be comfortable. This might be a painful ending that is occurring. Six of Swords. Somebody's moving on. <clears throat> so Aquarius, you may be choosing to end a situation that might be painful, but you are move, you're doing it in order to move on to calmer waters. It's like things may have been toxic, I'm getting this toxic energy. Things have not been going in the right direction. Maybe at a standstill. There may have been a lot of argument, a lot of fighting. But you, I feel, are in the position where you are making the decision. You are choosing to end a situation, even if it hurts. But you know in the long run that you are going to move forward. That, they, that you are going to find happiness again. That you, you're looking for your freedom. You're looking for some peace of mind. And you and the only way you're going to find that peace of mind, no matter how painful it is, is if you end a situation. Okay. As always, roll through the situation could be vice versa. It could be somebody else choosing to end something. But it's going to allow you to move forward. We'll see. We're going to get some clarification here. Tell me about the death card, please. Bear. This is somebody taking charge. And the bear is resourceful. Okay. This is, the, this is somebody taking charge of a situation. And you are protecting yourself. Maybe protecting your livelihood, protecting your, um, protecting, pro you may even try and be in protection mode. Protecting your heart for, over something. And this is also emphasizing big change. Okay. This is a big major life change for you. And that is a number 15. Um, 15 reduces to a 6. So this change is, and we have a 6 here, about perseverance, being persistent. Get, you're going to get through this. And it's about getting to, get, restoring harmony and balance. Okay, 3 of Swords energy, home. So this does feel like, if, if this would have been work-related, I would probably see the Tower card or the Anchor card or something like that. But with the home, this is something within the home. It's affecting the home. Okay. If, it, it may, if this is a home business, ending a home business, maybe. But I feel more, this is a more personal reading. Somebody is leaving. Okay. Somebody's like, I have to go. I can't do this anymore. You may have been dealing with somebody that was overbearing, restrictive, narcissistic, and you're just like, I love you, but I can't do this. And with the Six of Swords, we have the dog card. Faithfulness, trustworthiness, friend. So, <clears throat> and loyalty. So what I feel is that you have been really loyal. I'm not seeing any cheating here. It means there, there's been no cheating with the dog card here. Everybody's been faithful in this situation. But despite that, there just seems to be this overbearing energy, this narcissistic energy. Obedience. Dogs can be obedient. The Spirit just told me that's not a traditional meaning of the Lenorma, but we always add, we always add our own key words. I just saw obedient. Somebody being obedient. 
and subjective to somebody large and in charge. And I feel like that this is about breaking free of that. Maybe being loyal to yourself and doing what's right for yourself, even though it may hurt. But I'm going to leave the reading there. I love you. Blessed be. And last but not least, we're moving on to Pisces. Okay, the cards are just about ready. I don't have to do a lot of shuffling because I did my pre-shuffle. <clears throat> we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is talking about going on a journey. Going on, you know, a, some sort of journey, a new journey. Potentially walking away from an unfulfilling situation, being emotionally unfulfilled here. Nine of Cups, ask about Ray saying, looking for that ninth cup, there it is. So I feel Pisces, you might be walking away from an emotional, unsatisfying situation, whether this is love life, general life, in, and looking for that ninth cup. Looking for that, your hopes, wishes, and dreams. Going after what you truly want. Seven of Cups. Because you are tired of being treated as an option. That's it in a nutshell. So, you know, I feel like you've been hurt. You've been scorned. Somebody was treating you like an option. Somebody didn't know what they wanted. So you're walking away from that and going after what you truly want. You're going after happiness. Okay, we are going to get clarifiers on this. Tell me about this Eight of Cups, please. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. The Cross. The cross is, are the, is the cross that you bear, your burdens, your troubles, okay? The cross represents um, feeling stuck, feeling hopeless. You know, there may have been a lot of problems in this connection because of you being treated like an option. A lot of worries about it. And you're, you're tired of it. 36 is a 9. 9 is accomplishments. They are, they're not the finale. They're a completion. You are going to find that ninth cup. 9 and 9. Absolutely. Tell me about the 9 of cups, please. The sun. Beautiful. This is that happiness. Vitality. Feeling alive again. It also represents healing and stability. Three and one is a four. Four is stability. So you are going after what you want, that success, that happiness, you know, feeling alive again. You want to be happy, and you're not happy in your current situation, Pisces. The crossroads. So you are finding your, you may have found yourself at a crossroads with this. You might be finding yourself at a crossroads going through this. You know, you want to walk away. But I feel like on the 16th, you're kind of still indecisive. Okay, you're at a fork in the road and you have to decide what road you want to take. You've been treated as an option, but the other side of the Seven of Cups is talking about you having options and decisions to make as well and not really seeing your options very clearly. You know you want happiness. You're tired of the burdens. You're tired of the problems. There may be even some mild depression here. But I'm hearing the, another, another meaning of the cross is faith. Having faith and just going 
choosing the road and going with it and having faith and trust. Almost like full energy I'm feeling. Taking that leap of faith and doing it and going on a new path. Okay. I'm going to leave that reading here. I love you all and blessed be.